Okay, this unit does also store video and photo files on an SD card internally as well as connecting to your phone and computer and all that kind of stuff. If you use your screwdriver and take off this little door right underneath the speaker, it's on the back side of it. If you take that off right here, you will see um, a little SD card. It's a micro SD card section that you can put into there. Now, this also does have some rubber bits around the outside to keep it uh, good. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a SD card in there. Okay, I have a small uh, 64 gig card here. Um, you can go up to 128 gig. All right, so that's in there. We're going to close this up and continue on with this. Okay, now that I put that in there and this is doing this little testing thing here with its lights, I did download the app. Now, here's a little pro tip for you. I tried doing the scan. I scanned it and it went to um, the uh, I have a Samsung, so I went to the uh, Google Play Store Chinese version. It downloaded it. It did switch to English for part of it, but the app had um, a lot of things in it that you had to fill out, and it was like in Chinese and all that. So um, that didn't really work out well for me. What I did is I cleared that out, and I just went to my app center directly on my phone and downloaded the Cam High Pro from the Google Play Store directly. It was all in English and it came back to um, to this here. I'm gonna open up the app right away. I didn't have to register. I didn't have to do any of that stuff. It was really simple to do and it looks like it so far that it's in English. So uh, it says to click add device. So I'm gonna add the device. It's an IP camera. Let's add that. Let's do new device. Uh, power on the device. It is working. Okay, next step. You just follow along. If the device has a network port, it is recommended to add a network cable to it. The network, um, I don't have, I'm not gonna hook it up to a network. So we're gonna do a Wi-Fi option. So there's different kinds of networks you can do. This is for like your pet cams and, and your lights and stuff. And this one looks like more like security camera kind of things like this. So we're gonna add that. Oh, scan the code. So I'm gonna scan this code that was on here. And it's going to find, it's going to connect high pro temporary Wi-Fi network. Okay. Please select the uh, der, the network. Network, I'm going to put my password in. Now this works off the 2.4 gigahertz, not the 5. So you want to make sure that it's connecting to your 2.4 uh, gigahertz network. Okay, so now the camera, you can select this to do uh, this like pre-selection, living room, bedroom, doorway, baby room, store, corridor, hall, office. Um, name camera. I will do um, outdoor. I'll just do it that way. Please change the password for the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and change the password for my own thing. Okay, so I changed the password for the camera. Now let's try it. Just doing its little test thing. And now we can um, move things around. So I'm gonna, it's kind of on the table, but I can rotate by hitting, scrolling that direction, scrolling that direction. So there's a little bit of a delay, but you can control the camera this direction. Uh, then we have different options here. You have your speaker option, camera option, snapshot. Just took a picture of my armpit. <laughs> it's recording now through there. It's a little bit touchy on this kind of thing, but if you scroll over here, you have a keypad, which should uh, work much better. There you go. Oh, that's your zoom, zoom feature. Oh boy. Yeah, and I'm like super close, so it's gonna be nasty, but man, that can zoom like crazy. 30X zooming, we'll do a little bit closer look at that. Um, swipe again, and you can do a mirror flip. It flips it over. You got uh, focus, zoom in, zoom out, you can do that. Preset positions, volume controls, image adjustments, night vision mode, uh, infrared in mode, full color, intelligent mode. Lots of different options there. Now there's also a little cogwheel over here that can give you a lot of more information. The wireless settings, change your passwords, alarm management, notifications. If you click that, you can do uh, push alarms to your camera. So when, you, when something happens, it will um, notify you. Motion detection, that's kind of what it's doing now, I think. Um, audible alarm, 
Uh, you can see there's a lot of features. Just you're gonna have to go through this and really dig through it. I'm not gonna go through every single thing on there, but that's just that alarm management. There you go. Video settings, audio settings, SD card settings, uh, your time, defaults, you know, defaults uh, settings, all that kind of stuff. Lots and lots of information. Now you can also turn the camera this direction and hit this big button. So now you have a larger view of things with the keypad on it um, and you can see there that that box that axe that's following me human humanoid there you go so now you can turn the alarm siren up okay that was loud but anyways you get the idea that there is a lot of bells and whistles and features to this um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up into an area where we're gonna take a look at the uh, infrared night vision and we'll see how that goes so let me um, turn off the studio lights and we will see how well this works okay I know you can't see anything through my other cameras um, I'm, I'm gonna show you here the um, alarm system the alarm camera so now this is my like infrared and that's doing like the infrared stuff so there you go infrared night vision um it's very uh wow that's very clear wow i'm like totally dark there's like no light in here whatsoever and it's still picking me up as you can see with my other camera facing me you can't see anything but with this camera you can see me completely now I'm really close to the camera and most things would not be if you have this mounted up on your house you're not going to be this close I'm trying to get it so I can see it okay so now you can see my camera facing me with the spotlight type of thing going on so this is the infrared bit of it um, it looks super great super detailed in a pitch bat black room um, again, there's um, several ways you can record. You can record onto the SD, you can record onto your phone, your phone app. Also, you can connect this to a network system and record on like a DVR or other security type systems. So there's lots of different ways you can record um, through this. Again, you can do this through the Wi-Fi system, hook up to your phone for all your controls, or you can control it otherwise um, through the app on a, um, a computer as well. And it is waterproof, so you don't have to worry about this being out in the rain. And of course, don't forget the tracking. As people walk by, this will track that. So this thing has got a lot of features, a lot of bells and whistles, a super nice camera. It looks like it does a very, very good job. If you are looking for a good quality security camera, this one may be the right one for you.